By now, you probably know why UDM can do some incredible things. It can cut really hard materials, complex profiles, and it's super precise. The only downside is it's notoriously slow. But what if we could speed it up by changing one thing? This is a premium zinc coated wire. Today, we're gonna put that theory to the test by cutting two identical parts, one using standard hard brass wire and the other using Sodex Z Plus wire. Let's get started. The reason we're using standard uncoated hard brass wire as our baseline is because it's probably the most popular wire type used in a wire EDM machine. It consists of about 35 to 37% zinc, and it's a really good general purpose wire that's cost effective and works for most things. But it doesn't offer a lot of performance benefits. So to get started, we're gonna cut one of these 304 stainless parts using our uncoated brass wire, and that's gonna give us a good baseline to compare our Z Plus wire to. Now that we're all set up, let's get to machining. In addition to comparing cycle time, we're also gonna compare wire usage for both of these parts. Now, Sodic has a feature called iGroove, and I'll explain to you exactly how that works later, but to establish our baseline, we're selecting technology from a library that doesn't have iGroove activated, which is standard for wire EDMs that don't have the iGroove feature. But when we go to run the zinc wire, we're gonna select from this library right here that activates iGroove, so we're not only gonna be cutting faster, but we're gonna save wire in the process. All right guys, so we are finished running our uncoated brass wire and we established our baseline. We cut our part with a cycle time of five hours, one minute and 46 seconds, and we used 2,855 meters of wire. Now we're gonna cut our second part using our Sodic Z Plus wire and we're gonna activate iGroove and then we'll see what the difference is. I'm gonna get a little nerdy for a second, so bear with me. Let's talk about what makes this wire perform better. It's a 60-40 wire, which means it's 60% copper and 40% zinc. It's also gamma phase treated, and that's referring to a layer of zinc-rich alloy on the surface that's created through a process called diffusion annealing. Now that zinc layer is gonna do two things. It's gonna improve the conductivity of the wire and it's gonna lower the vaporization point. That should make it more efficient at generating sparks and eroding material during the EDM process. And that should improve our material removal rates. Now that we know a little bit about the wire, let's put it to the test and cut our second part and see what happens. All right, so we just pulled our slug and we're now on to the skim cuts. And for our second part, we activated a feature called iGroove. This is gonna help us save on consumables and it's unique only to Sodic. The way it works is in the lower head, they have a pulley that they're gonna offset to one side or the other, and that is gonna actually rotate our wire during the skim cuts. If you've ever ran a wire before, you know that every other machine, the wire feeds straight through the burn, only using one small section on the side of the wire. But since this machine rotates the wire, it's gonna allow us to use the entirety of the outside of the wire. And because of that, we can slow down our wire speed and save on our wire usage. 
Another added benefit of running this Z Plus wire is we should see an improved surface finish. For both of these parts, we're running a rough and three skim passes, but since we have higher zinc content on the surface of our Z Plus wire, we should get a better surface finish on the part that we cut with that wire. We just finished cutting our second part with the Z Plus wire, and I already know that it's faster, but let's see by how much. If we go into the program history on our control, it's gonna tell us exactly how much wire we used and what our cut time is. So for our first part, we have a wire usage of 2,855 meters and a cut time of five hours, one minute and 46 seconds. Let's see what we got with our Z Plus wire. For our Z Plus wire, we got a wire usage of 1,949 meters and a cut time of three hours, 28 minutes, and two seconds. So as you can see, by using the Z Plus wire and activating iGroove, we were able to save roughly 30% on our cut time and roughly 30% on our wire usage. But is it worth it to invest in the premium Z Plus wire? Well, let's break down the results over the course of a week or even a year if you're running this part in full production. There's 10,080 minutes in a week. And if we're running about 75% machine uptime, that's gonna give us 7,560 minutes to work with. For our uncoated brass wire, we had a cut time of 301 minutes. If we divide that out, that's gonna give us 25 parts out the door per week. Let's take a look at what we get when we run our Z Plus wire. We still have that same 7,560 minutes to work with, except this time our cut time was 208 minutes. If we divide that out, we get 36 parts out the door per week, or 11 more parts than we get with our uncoated brass wire. If we break that down over the course of a year, we're gonna get 572 more parts out the door when we run our Z Plus wire. Now you're not gonna see 30% savings consistently for every single part. Depending on the part's thickness or the material type or even the geometry of the part, you might see anywhere from 10 to 30%. But at this point, it's undeniable that when you switch to a premium wire like the Z Plus wire, you are going to shave your cycle time. And when you use technology like iGroove, you're going to save on your wire usage. And when it comes to a notoriously slow technology like wire EDM, being able to simply change out to a different wire and shave that cycle time, and get more parts out the door is really, really crucial. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.